All right, y'all, let's get at it. Let's install a curbless shower with a linear drain. I removed my subfloor and notched out the top of my floor joist three quarters of an inch. Make sure your joists are sized appropriately before you do so. Then reinstall your subfloor flush to the top of the joist. I'm gonna dry fit my Schluter shower tray and find my drain location. I really like the linear drains and it was just ideal for this curbless entry shower. And don't get intimidated because this is a very, very user-friendly system mixed up some all set and uh, i'm gonna put a nice even coat right underneath the linear drain i don't know if you noticed or not but i left a little section of my subfloor out so i can hook up the plumbing all is good we're gonna check it for level and yes sir perfection before you cover everything up go ahead and water test it because i got a ceiling below it and i don't want no leaks all is dry so come back next time and i'll show you how to set the shower tray got it coach